you believed They put a man on the moon Man on the moon If you believed There's nothing up my sleeve Then nothing is cool Good morning, Atlantis. This is Michael Stipe from REM. We wish you much success on your mission and thank all the women and men at NASA who have worked on shuttle for three decades. From Earth, a very good morning to you. A good view inside uh, the Raffaello multi-purpose logistics module as uh, the cargo transfer work continues in earnest. Uh, the uh, goal is to have everything out of Raffaello within the next uh, day or so. And that will clear the way for the beginning of the transfer of uh, items no longer needed on board the station back into Raffaello with the goal in mind of filling up uh, that module to about 70% or so, perhaps a bit more of capacity, some 5,600 pounds of uh, cargo and other items no longer needed on the station are expected to be returned to Earth uh, on uh, the shuttle Atlantis for its final landing next week. As you can see, uh, a variety of crew members uh, gathering down in the mid-deck of Atlantis uh, to prepare a variety of cuisine that constitutes the all-American meal that you've been hearing about. Uh, this all-American meal, again, uh, was conceived uh, in honor of this final shuttle mission of Atlantis and uh, prepared uh, by the Food Lab folks here at the Johnson Space Center. The uh, crew's all-American menu, uh, beginning with crackers, brie cheese, and sausage. The main course featuring grilled chicken, southwestern corn, and baked beans, and the uh, piece de resistance will be apple pie for dessert. The uh, station crew will also have barbecued brisket as its entree. So this is an opportunity uh, for the crew uh, to take a break in uh, what has been a very busy schedule. Uh, punctuated uh, primarily by cargo transfer activities uh, before they have uh, an opportunity to share each other's company uh, for off-duty time for the second half of their day today. Let's go to space. What do you say? Oh, let's do it. All right, here we go. The astronauts of the uh, shuttle Atlantis are making history right now on the shuttle's last mission in space. You know that. And they are about to join us live. In fact, I think we have them at the International Space Station. And there they are, hey. just, just floating there. Hi, welcome to Philadelphia. Hey, it's, uh, it's great to be here in my hometown of Philly. How you doing? Good, that's great. Commander, we're so happy and proud of you. Now, we may talk to the rest of the crew, too, but we're going to concentrate on <laughs> Commander Ferguson here. But we'll get to everybody eventually. I'm trying to look at you and look at their hair sticking straight up. <laughs> That specialist, Magnus, Sandy Magnus. <laughs> so, uh, Chris Ferguson, when did you first get involved in space? <laughs> oh, that's even better. That's awesome. Well, you know, Philly's own Willow, or Will Smith's kid. What's the name of her song? I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> that's the first time we've seen somebody whip their hair back and forth from space. Anyway, Commander Ferguson, <laughs> when did you first have the dream of going to space from living in Philadelphia? Oh, I grew up in the Northeast there. I went to St. Martha's uh, grade school, Archbishop Bryan High School, and I think it was somewhere in there. I had some real motivational teachers who uh, got me interested in science and uh, taught me a little bit about aviation. I thought, well, you know, maybe I'd like to fly airplanes someday. One thing led to another. I always had a fascination with the, uh, with the early astronauts and the Apollo program, and, you know, lo and behold, you just uh, you put your nose to the grindstone and you keep your dreams alive and you end up in interesting places someday. You're here. I'm telling you, I've done a lot of these interviews, as well, a few of them from space. The technology now is amazing. The picture, guys, you look like you're in a studio, maybe in Omaha, Nebraska or something. The, the, the shot is so clear. Is this a hoax? Are you really in space, Phil? Is this a hoax? Are you really in space, Phil? See the hair? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to have to do something for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to do it. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Watch this. <laughs> can everybody float around for us? That was really cool, Chris. Look at her. I think uh, I think Sandy's hair is pretty much a dead giveaway. 
It is. Oh, there you go. There's a pose for you right yeah, there.